Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, get used to how it feels outside right now because it's going to stay that way, at least for the foreseeable future through the next seven to 10 days around here. Over my shoulder right now, plenty of steamy sunshine across the area. We've got high levels of humidity and temperatures in the 80s. We've also got some rain chances which have returned to the area, but as you'll see in the forecast, those rain chances are going to remain on the low side and there will be days in which some of you won't see any rain at all. Let's talk about a sweaty holiday. Yeah, we're thinking over the weekend and into Memorial Day itself heat indices probably somewhere between about 85 and 90 degrees across the area and I did mention that we do have that small threat for some rain heading into the holiday weekend as well. Here's a live look at radar right now. It's fairly quiet out there. There are one or two showers which have managed to pop up here during the heat of the afternoon. We've been tracking this one out of Adams County. Now it's going to pass to the south of those of you in Hillsboro, but if you're seeing some darker skies south of those of you in Hillsboro, that is the reason why. Here's a look at your evening forecast. If you have plans on heading out, well, I think most of you are going to be fine. However, just kind of keep an eye to the sky. If you see the clouds bubbling up, there could be a very brief downpour around here this evening. Otherwise, expect temperatures to hover around 80 for the next few hours and just slowly slip through the 70s as we head through the evening. Well, part of the reason why we're not going to see these very high rain chances is because, well, there's really no real focal mechanism for showers or storms heading into the holiday weekend. The jet stream, meaning the storm track, is going to stay pretty far to our north. That's going to keep us on the warm and humid side of things. So we'll really have to just depend basically on daytime heating, the heat of the afternoon and evening to pop a few downpours. And that's not going to even happen every day. So here's a look at your forecast for the taste of Cincinnati. I think it's a great weekend. Make sure you stay well hydrated, though, if you're coming downtown. It will feel closer to 90 out there with temperatures in the mid 80s and high levels of humidity. Right now, I'm targeting or at least eyeing Saturday, maybe, for the best chance for the most widespread shower and thunderstorm activity. So it's 81 officially at the airport. Boy, things have changed. Look at that dew point up there at 62. We've got a south wind right now, and it's that south and southwest wind through the foreseeable future that will keep our air feeling very, very muggy, even by late May standards. So our dew points are in the 60s, and you see 70s off to our south and west. This is where our air will be coming from for at least the next 7 to 10 days. So don't expect much to change around here in terms of how it feels. The storm system out to our west, it really never moves in here. It gets a little bit closer, so that may offer a little bit of a trigger for enhanced chances for scattered storms. But all in all, I don't think we're talking about a lot of rain. So here's future cast tonight. There's your one or two spotty showers around the area. I do think rain chances could actually increase overnight tonight as we see a little quick disturbance move through the area. I don't really expect anything terribly heavy, but there could be some downpours as we head into the overnight hours. And I do think the best threat for rain on Thursday will be the first half of the day before steamy sunshine returns for the second half. So tonight 64 for a low. I don't expect much around here the next couple of hours, but late tonight and overnight, those downpours may likely increase. And then for tomorrow, expect the threat for some morning rain. At least that's the best time. And then some afternoon sun, 83 for an afternoon high. Here's a look at your day planner. It looks like 66 in the morning, 75 in lunchtime, low 80s during the afternoon. You know, you could pop a shower again tomorrow afternoon and evening too, but the greatest likelihood would be in the morning. Here's your seven day forecast. Very late June, July ish. We're talking highs consistently in the mid 80s, nights consistently muggy in the 60s. So, Mike Shuri, we've gotten away so far without the use of those air conditioners. I think we're going to kick them in the high gear. They're going to get a workout here heading into the holiday. Oh, I've had my AC going, Kev. <laughs> I'm